We are just weeks away from the general election and we're keeping a close eye on the race for the state Senate seat. Today, Local 23's Jeremiah Wilcox had a one-on-one -on -one interview with challenger MJ Hager, who's hoping to beat incumbent Senator John Cornyn. It's a race to see who's the best fit to represent Texas in Washington. MJ Hager is a veteran and working mom who felt a calling for change. We need to start electing servant leaders who are willing to put their own self-interest on the line. Um, you know, when I sued the Department of Defense to open hundreds of thousands of jobs for women, I lost my dream job. I wanted to be a combat pilot my whole life. I never wanted to run for office. But I recognized that in order to serve my community better and make the military stronger, I needed to do this. And so I did it. And right now we have a lot of politicians who do the opposite. They sell us out and, and sell out the best interests of their community for their own ambition and self-interest. And, and that's why I'm running for office. Through our remote interview, we discussed a number of topics, starting with President Trump's reported remarks calling fallen soldiers suckers and losers, and the newly released interview recordings from veteran journalist Bob Woodward. I had a very visceral, physical reaction when I, when I heard that, um, when I read it. Um, and, you know, as a medevac pilot, I medevaced so many wounded and dying and dead patriots that have served this country. I've lost friends who had, um, you know, small kids at home that I served alongside. Um, and, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. And, and, and frankly, I don't care if somebody like John Cornyn doesn't believe the recording. It, it falls in line with a pattern. The big issue impacting residents here in the Valley is COVID-19. South Texas was one of the hot spots for the dangerous virus. You know, immediately reopening the Affordable Care Act enrollment that, by the way, John Cornyn has voted 20 times to uh, tear down the Affordable Care Act. Uh, immediately reopening re-enrollment re would help the millions of Texans that don't have health insurance. Uh, we need to protect our frontline workers. Uh, John Cornyn has been focused on shielding uh, negligent corporations from liability instead of fighting for workers. Senator Cornyn's campaign sent a statement saying, quote, MJ Hager's hypocritical and selective outrage is now completely nonsensical. She's attacking the senator, the proud son of a World War II veteran, for supporting our troops. Meanwhile, she stays silent when Joe Biden told African Americans Americans that they ain't black if they don't vote for him and thought nothing wrong when Nancy Pelosi called conservatives enemies of the state. Hager has one message for Valley residents. This election, they have an opportunity to vote for someone like me who has faced the same challenges that they have faced and any challenges that they're facing that I haven't faced because of, for example, discrimination to the Latina community. I am here to, to co collaborate with and get input on solutions instead of telling people that I know best and that I know all the answers. I, I need the voices of Texans. I need to bring those voices with me to D.C. In Harlingen, and Jeremiah Wilcox, Local 23 News. Hager also talked about helping small businesses during the pandemic. Head to valleycentral.com to watch the full interview.